Good morning, friends. Today we're going to read My Neighbors and Their Simple Machines, which is going to teach us about some of the cool simple machines that you might have around your house. This book was written and illustrated by Aaron Seagraves and Heather Baker. Hi, my name is Ama, and I live in an apartment building in the city. I love living in my building because I get to visit my interesting neighbors. Let's see what they are doing today. This is Mr. Salgago. He is here to clean the windows on the outside of our building. He uses a seat on a rope to reach them. Mr. Salgado uses a pulley to raise and lower his seat. So pulley. A pulley is a type of simple machine that uses a rope and a small wheel to help raise and lower things. The pulley helps Mr. Salgado move up and down the outside of the building. Pulling down on the rope makes it, makes it easier to lift something heavy. Sometimes pulleys have more than one wheel. The more wheels a pulley has, the easier it is to lift things. Mm, I smell something baking down the hall. Mrs. D'Angelo is baking fresh bread again. I stop by her apartment and she offers me a big slice. Yum. Mrs. D'Angelo uses a knife to slice the fresh bread that she's baked, which is a wedge. A knife is a wedge, which is a type of simple machine that splits things apart. Wedges are shaped like triangles. Wedges can be big like an ax or they can be small like the tip of a nail. Teeth doors and forks are also examples of wedges. My mom and I are visiting with our neighbor, Mrs. Howard, and her son, Tridell. Tridell and I want to play with his toy cars, but the wheel and axle broke on one of them. A wheel and axle is a type of simple machine that helps move things like cars, wagons, and wheelbarrows. So here we have the wheel, and then this long part in between the wheels is the axle. The axle goes through the middle of the wheel, and the wheel and axle turn together to move things. A wheelbarrow has one wheel and axle. A tractor trailer can have as many as nine axles and 18 wheels. Instead of playing with toy cars, Tridell and I decide to make paper snowflakes out of colorful paper. We first fold the paper and then use scissors to cut out small shapes. Scissors are a type of lave lever, which is a simple machine. A lever is a rod or a bar that pivots at a point called the fulcrum. The fulcrum can be in the middle of the lever or at the end of the lever. Scissors are made of two levers with a fulcrum that joins them together in the middle. Later on, I meet my friend Jack down at the playground behind our apartment building. My favorite thing at the playground is a seesaw. Jack loves it too. And a seesaw is a type of lever. The ends of the seesaw move up and down because the seesaw is another type of lever. One that has a fulcrum in the middle. When the weight on both sides of the lever is the same, the lever stays level or is balanced. When more weight is put on one side, that side goes down and the other side goes up. A balanced scale is another example of this type of lever. On my way back inside, I meet Miss Jacqueline. She's moving into our building today. She has a lot of boxes to move. Miss Jacqueline moves her boxes off of the moving truck by walking them down the ramp. If she couldn't use the ramp to unload her boxes, she would have to climb in and out of the truck with every box. That would take a long time. But this is a type of inclined plane. A ramp is a type of simple machine called an inclined plane. An inclined plane is a flat surface that is higher on one end. There are different types of inclined planes. Ramps, ladders, and playground slides are all examples of inclined planes. Mr. Perrin is the handyman in our building. He stops by to fix the knob on our door. I ask if I can help. 
Mr. Peron uses a screwdriver to put a new doorknob on our door and uses screws to hold it in place. A screw is a type of simple machine that is used to hold things together. Screws have threads around them that keep them securely in place. The top of a screw is called the head. A screwdriver fits perfectly into the notch of, on the head of a screw so you can turn it and tighten it into place. That evening, I noticed that my lamp needs a new light bulb, so my dad and I read my bedtime stories. I asked my dad to replace the light bulb for me. My dad takes out the old light bulb and screws in a new one. Now we have enough light to read my bedtime stories. A light bulb has a screw on one end that holds it in place. Instead of using a screwdriver, this type of screw is screwed in by turning it with your hand. Bottle tops, jar lids, and toothpaste caps are examples of screws. It is fun to live in my building. I get to see my neighbors every day. They do lots of interesting things, and sometimes I get to help. The end. All right, my friends, before I go, my question for you is, what kind of simple machines can you find around your house? Are they the same ones as what you found in the book? Or can you find different ones? Have fun searching.